we yell? How can you guys build on last year's fourth place finish in the conference? I mean, um, we just we just can get better each and every uh, each and every day in practice. And try to you know uh, go higher in the rankings than last year. Last year we finished fourth, but we want to try to finish uh, better. Talk about some of the guys that are with you here today, Isaiah and Isaac and and those guys, and what they mean to this team. I mean, they mean they mean as much as just everyone else. Um, Isaac brings his scoring punch and his versatility. <laughs> Isaiah does the same. Uh, they both can stretch the floor. Uh, both can uh, guard multiple positions. And so it, uh, it definitely helps them defense the end of switching. Uh, basically one through five, so that's great. Coach Miles is a riot on the day of, you know, talking to the media. How is he how is he in practice? Is he is he more uh, low key and to the point in practice or is he kind of the same way that he is off the court? I mean I think he's the same way off the court as he is on the court. He know we, we know what to expect from him, and he knows what to expect from us. We already know what to do in practice, and um, just show the young guys what to do. So he really don't have to say too much. Uh, just you know, last year you guys you know finished pretty well in the Big Ten, uh, but just how do you guys move forward on that? Uh, I mean, like I said. Um, just trying to get uh, even higher, trying to finish first. Uh, we want to win the Big Ten. We don't want to just finish fourth and be satisfied with that because last year, the, that obviously didn't give us the win and make the tournament. So we just want to finish higher and, you know, just try to try to win the big games like we didn't do last year. Conference moving to 20 games this year from 18 last year. Thoughts on that? And uh, uh, how do you guys feel playing two more conference games, including two early ones? Um, I think it's a great opportunity for us to, you know, the teams that we didn't play uh, at home to play them at home like we did um, last year away. So we might play, um, if we lose them the first time, you know, we get a chance to play them again the second time, you know. So um, and, uh, playing at home is definitely an advantage for us. Seems like teams are starting to play more tougher non-conference schedules to kind of build themselves up and get them prepared for the conference. Is that? Do you see that happening at Nebraska as well? Um, yeah, it's, a, it's going all around the college basketball. Uh, teams want to play tough uh, out of conference schedules um, in order to make the tournament as well. It's not just for the conference. Uh, they want to, you know, have a out of conference to make the tournament as well, so they can show they can play against anyone in the country. I mean, uh, a lot of talent in the Big Ten. There's a lot more talent coming into the conference. Just. Talk a little bit as a whole, just what the conference, what it's playing, what it's like playing in the Big Ten, and what you see uh, coming out of it this year from everybody. Uh, you know, new guys coming in as well as guys that have been established for a couple of years. I mean, the, the, like I said, the Big Ten brings a lot of competitiveness. Uh, we have a lot of great teams, a lot of great coaches, and uh, I think the Big Ten is, is great. It's, uh, it's a great time for basketball and. For whoever for kids, you know, kids growing up want to play in the ACC and Big Ten. And these two, uh, ACC and the Big Ten are the two big conferences. So, um, everybody